Hi. Right then, where are we going? Shopping. Big baby shop on Merton Street. Oh, really? Why are we going there? I can still open a door. Sorry. Oh. You all right? No, I have backache, so if you don't mind, the sooner we get going, the sooner I can come home and curl up in private misery. How are you feeling about today? Telling Debbie? Yep, yeah, strong. Very strong. Determined and, uh, and resolute. Do you think I should tell her when she comes down or wait till she's finished her cornflakes? You don't want to upset her just before she goes to school, do you? Tonight, then. I think she's having tea at Lisa's tonight. I might be a little bit late myself as well. well tomorrow would... We'll... Paddy! We're absolutely rubbish at this, aren't we? No, it's just very difficult. Yeah. We're rubbish. Yeah. When are we going to tell her then? We'll stick to tonight. Right. We'll brace ourselves, stick to our guns, yeah. and just do it. Yeah. And and so that it doesn't just come out of the blue. This morning, we won't let her have the pig at the table. Oh, brilliant. Great. Right. Agree. Yeah. Fantastic. Commander Kirk. Hiya. Morning, Debbie. Morning, Debbie. About the pig. Breakfast time. That's all right, thanks. I just have this piece of toast this morning. Bye, Kane. Just a can of those, please. And me? There you go. Three packets? Means you can eat your lunch having that lot in your break. You mean my break? It's like just for the bus. Gotta keep my packer up, haven't I? Have you been rude? No. Hey, up. Here comes Naomi Campbell. Wrong colour. Wrong everything. Just leave her alone, Rob. I've got the famous pig with you, then. Oi! You're deaf or something. Do you like smoking bacon crisps? Yeah, she's probably just had to give it back, haven't you? Yeah, ready to be made into them. No way, I'm keeping it forever and ever. Oh, does Emily know this? Yeah. Uh, I'd take you to meet him only. He's quite a fussy pig and, well, I don't think he'd like you very much. Right, where do I start? Why are you here? I mean, if you're not keeping it... Ah, uh, well, my social worker thinks it'd be nice if I bought some things for it. So at least it would have something for when it's older, from its mother. Right. It's kind of test, of course, to check I've made the right decision to see if I have any wobbles. Right, here we are. Baby grows, that's what they wear, isn't it? No, of course you wouldn't know you're a man any more than I would, but... Newborn before. It's the right size anyway, but it's pink though. But it might be a boy, so I'd better play safe. Um, white or lemon? Well, I'll take half a dozen. Three white, three lemon. There we go. To start. Come on then. How are you feeling this morning? Still sure about giving the house away? Giving it away? No, oh, I don't think I heard you in Leeds, Trisha. Who are you giving it to? Ray's brother. Is that all right with you? Yeah, of course. I mean, I can understand you not wanting to live there with all the memories and that, but... Oh, it's worth a fortune. It is, yes. My, I wish I had your way with words, Trish. Mind you, I know what she means. It is a lot of money. Yeah, well, I don't want it. I'm gonna go down there today and start emptying it out, throw some stuff away. If you mean Ray's stuff, I'd wait. A lot of people regret rushing into that. They think they don't want any reminders and then they feel like they've destroyed the person. But, it, but if you're set on it, I'll help you. No, you're needed here. I think this is something I should do by myself. Giving it away, eh? Huh? There's me and Marlon that's just lost our ass and can't afford to buy another one. Some people don't even know they're born, do they? Your granddad's helping you with Victoria Cottage. And besides, there are two big differences between you and Louise. And one is your boyfriend didn't just die in tragic circumstances. Yeah, I know. But I still couldn't give something like that away. And that's the other. Um, so that's Baby Grow's cardigan, little coat, shawl, hat, booties and socks. And a cuddly toy. All sorted. Um, I wonder if I should get something when it's a bit older. Difficult to know where to start, isn't it? Oh, I wasn't really looking, at it. No? Well, it's a bit early for pushchairs. A sling's normally the thing at the beginning. 
Uh, no, I am. Um... When's it due? A couple of weeks, I think. I'm not the father. Oh, sorry. Uh, I just assumed no, that. Just a neighbour. Um, have you got any kids yourself? <laughs> no strings. Mm. <laughs> I was just wondering when it would you. You said a fortnight, didn't you? Getting close. Do you want a boy or a girl? I really couldn't care less. It's not a wanted child. Now, if you could keep up, I'd quite like to get home before the birth. How did we accumulate all this stuff? Yeah, especially me. If we take all the furniture out, it's nearly all mine. Well, half of it. We didn't bad going, seeing as you're nowhere near half my age. <laughs> it's not a mathematical thing, Dad. Uh, well, let's hope not. If Kate has got 34 little tops by the time she's 16, how many will she have by the time she's 116? Look, it's Mr Fee. <laughs> we never did find his bow tie. Oh. Hey, it's your baby stuff. Things me and your mum didn't want to throw away. Did I really wear this? Oh, it's one of your mum's favourites. Your nan knitted it before you were even born. Everyone was so excited. Oh, I'm sorry, love. Is it still a bit...? Yeah, well, my baby will be born round about now. In a couple of weeks. Shall I call your mum? See if she can help you with this. No. Dad, you're the one who's... I don't need anybody else. You can still change your mind, you know. Come with me. I know, but... I know. You're all grown up now. Hi, Chloe. It's Zoe. Um, listen, I'm feeling a bit out of sorts today. Could you get me some painkillers from the shop? No, I'm sure a couple won't do any harm. No, 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 of course not. And, and after the other day, I'd need to be a lot surer than this. I think it's just something I ate for lunch. Yeah, yeah, I cooked it myself. Yeah, all right, OK, I'll see you later. When I think of the fuss you and Brian made about that relationship, and now she's moving in. They're separate rooms. Sure, that'll really stump them. Actually, I'll admit it, I'm quite looking forward to it. She's a nice girl, Katie. It'd be good to have a bit of female influence around the house again. Keep you three slobs in order, you mean? Well, yeah, and company for Victoria. Like an older sister for her. I do my best with girls, but... Well. We're a specialist area. <laughs> Louise has been a long time, isn't she? Well, I did say take as long as she needs. She's packing Ray's stuff up. <laughs> yeah, did you know she was planning to do that so soon? Louise's business, I think. Oh, yeah. oh, hello, Scott. How'd you get on this morning? Chloe told me you were taking Zoe shopping to get some baby things. Oh, I thought she was having a baby adopted. She is. Hmm, still saying that, is she? Well, going shopping's the first sign of weakness, if you ask me. The maternal instinct is very strong. Well, it was with me. Still here from Kelly, dear Bib? No. Only a Christmas card. So do you think she'll keep the baby, then? Well, it's not the baby's fault. It's got a mad mother and Lord knows who the father is. The least she could do is give it a home with that big house she's got. No, what do you think, Scott? Come on. Was she weakening this morning? Was she going all soft and sentimental? No, she was vile. She was bad-tempered and grouchy. Ah. Oh. Oh, well, it is the last few weeks of pregnancy. All women go like that. I know I did. You mark my words. This is no stomach upset. I'm in labour, for real, this time. 
Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, and I phoned the hospital and they said to go in. You want for a cab? Well, they're engaged. I'll... I'll try again in a minute. Oh, no, actually, could you... Could you phone Scott? OK. Oh. What about Chris and Charity? Yeah, just phone them afterwards. Right, OK. Oh. Oh. Scott, we need to take Zoe to the hospital oh. now. She's in labour. Uh. No, what's your sure this time? Oh. oh. Real contractions. Can you... Can you get a minicab? They're engaged! Oh! Oh, come on, Scott, just get over it now! Okay. Oh! Who is that, then? No one. I need to look a bit... It was... No one. It's just a... Just a friend of mine's broken down. I've got to go and pick him up, that's all. See you later. Honestly, it's not a flipping 24-hour service. Well, if they're stuck, though... No. My Scott's too kind-hearted. There's a trouble. You all right? Yeah. It wouldn't start, so um, I'm just giving it a minute. Do you want to push? I could put Gabby in the passenger seat. No, I'm not going anywhere. I... What I mean is uh, um, I'm not in any rush, so uh, I'll just wait a while. Better fix it. Can't have a mechanics car showing temperament. Not much of an advertisement. I will. Ready for you. Thanks. How are you coping, Ollie? With with your schoolwork and everything? All right. <laughs> Danny's useless round the house, though. It's a bit like I've turned into my own boyfriend's mother. But Grandad's great. It's just he's getting on a bit, you know. Must be hard. Can you let me know if I can do anything. Look, I I want you to say thanks for for having a word with Debbie. Well, in the middle of everything that's going on for you, and, well, she's having a hard time at home, and, and I know it helps. It's OK. It probably helps me, too. Not many people can understand like she can. And I know it hasn't happened yet, but in a way, maybe that's worse. She's got it all to come. What hasn't happened yet? You know, mum dying of cancer. How long has she got? And to think I used to be so scared I had to bolt the door. <laughs> the only thing that's got better. Don't say that. What are you doing? I saved everything. Everything. Not just photos. Every note he ever wrote me. Tickets to concerts we went to. Programs from things we saw. Souvenirs. Of course, he didn't know about it. I made sure of that. I didn't want him to know how hard I'd fallen. Stupid cow. Hey, there's nothing wrong in falling in love. Just got to make sure you pick the right bloke. Mm. Too right. You'll be more careful next time. You bet I will. Mm. Her mum drinks. So, so Debbie's home life's difficult. That's why she makes up the stories, I think. She wants attention, so 
sympathy? Yeah, well, she certainly got plenty of that. Ollie, I'm, I'm so sorry. It wasn't very considerate of her, given your situation. I'm sure she wasn't thinking. She's probably not very happy underneath. Not very happy? No. She doesn't know the meaning of the word. Like, she has still got a mum. Her mum is still alive. She has got no idea what it feels like. Nobody has. So I've had a mum like mine, a brilliant mum, who was there my whole life and then suddenly just isn't there anymore. How dare she? To think I actually felt sorry for her. Ollie, I... Hey, you've got this. Excellent. I thought I'd put it in my little blue bag. Dad, can I put which box I put my bag in? I got my provisional licence through. I'll be driving soon. Fantastic. Now, where is my bag? Who wants a cup of tea? I'll do it. I've got a sister. Have you? Mm. There you go. Much better for you than that stuff. Thanks. Need to sober up. I'm supposed to be going back to work. Well, look, why don't I stop and then I'll walk you back? I don't know what I'd do without you. Get more plastered, probably. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> don't. I'm sorry. Just, just don't. No, I'm sorry. I, that, that was stupid. Um, I know you, you're not ready. Ready? Ready for what? Like, here we crass. Stupid. Uh, it's just that we've been through so much together and uh, seeing you so upset. I really like you, Louise. <sighs> I'll, uh, I'll clear up this lot. I don't know what's going on, why you aren't even answering, but will you please just get here? Ooh, where the hell is he? I don't know, it must be nearly an hour now. Oh, could you try Gibson's again? I'm gonna just try them, but I'll try them again anyway. At least Chris and Charity are on the way back. Oh, that's some compensation when I need a taxi. <sighs> Do you think you could make it to the pub? <sighs> I don't need a drink. No, I know that, but someone could give us a lift. Or shall I call an ambulance? No, I didn't want to. Um, could you try Ashley again? Oh, no, actually, can you call the ambulance? Scott! Oh. oh, hello, Gibsons? You've been engaged for hours! Yes! Yes, we do! Home farm, please! Yes, it's urgent. I'll bring Gertrude up to see you when I get my car. It's a long way. We'll see. I'll call up for definite, Dad. Yeah. I love you, Dad. Victoria. Can I borrow your clothes now that I'm your sister? Are you still following me? Are oh, you walking with Pandems? No way. Look, I have told you. I ain't babysitting for no kid. You walk yourself home, all right? Got a crush on him, have you? Explains why you're such a liar. What are you on about? You've been telling lies about a mum. If you knew what it was like to love somebody like I love my mum, you wouldn't be playing games like that. But you don't, do you? Neither of you do. All set for the fray? Yeah, I'm a bit wobbly. Probably have to hold onto the bar. Hey, look. About what happened earlier. I'm a prat. Oh, 
probably blown it. I'm really sorry. It's just that I think a lot of you. I feel that we need each other. Terry, believe me, if there was a man I could care for, it would be you. You must be the nicest man in the world. But no, let's just be friends, eh? You're my best friend. I'm not gonna get involved with anyone. Ever again. How much later? Right. No. No, she's not back yet anyway. No. Any minute now. Oh, she's there now. Hello, Debbie. Hi. Paddy, he's going to be a bit late. I'll make you drink in a minute. No, it's all right. I'm going to bed. What now? Debbie? Debbie, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Debbie! Well... You are eight centimetres dilated. Oh, that's quite far on. Yes, to have just come in. <sighs> far too far on for a caesarean, I'm afraid. No, but I've got to. It's all booked, my consultant. I'm sorry, Zoe, the consultant's on the way. But Labour's far too well established. No. You'll have to deliver naturally. No, you don't understand. I, I don't want to know. I don't want to know anything it, about it. It will be fine. <sighs> You're nearly there already, don't worry. Oh. Are you her sister? Oh. No, no, um, I'm just a friend. Her family oh. on the way back from... Well, they better be quick, cos she's going to oh. deliver naturally and she's not far off. Oh. Now, let's get you to the delivery ward. Oh, no. <sighs> Please. Please. I'm sorry. <sighs> But you haven't any choice. Oh. 